Bowser? I'm seeing Bowser? Okay. I I think I heard murmurs, rumors of the Certipedic, the Certa Bowser. Or no, I actually heard of a DDD before the Bowser. So I guess he's looking to switch it up from the normal from Snake. But this Bowser already looking like he's doing work right now. So you know what? I'm I mess with this. I mess with this a whole lot. There's that side B though. Command grab, put in the work on the platform. And try to just call him out with the back air, not able to get it, unfortunately. And this is forcing Gatsby to kind of just uh, play a whole new different game this time around. But there you go. We got the combos going online. There's the airs into the knee, baby. That's what you got to go. That's the Gatsby classic, the good old Captain Falcon. There you go. He's answering back aggressively. Now, he definitely not phased by the certain peak, peak Bowser that had such a very good start. Well, you end up in one Falcon combo. You end up in one cutscene combo. That's kind of G for you, boy. Yep, missing the two-frame. Unfortunately, there's that down air. Able to get the grab on the cross-up as well. He's hanging all around trying to get another up air as well. But Falcon, you definitely just got to take it. Beautiful empty up and trying to go on low for that spike as well. Certipedic is able to get the chase from the command grab as well off that down air. That's very good stuff. I like that option to kind of just OS that situation. Because you do neutral get up, you know, you roll on out, it still gets you. And Certipedic is getting really messed up by these uh, empty up grabs this time around with the Bowser. And trying to go for the up smash as well. If he had the time a little bit earlier, that would have been G. But trying to read the DI odd out, he's not able to get that extension. But the knee, hey! Putting in the work for the Falcon still. Gatsby clawing his way though. Or Certipedic clawing his way still back though. There's that upbeat. 116 on the Gatsby and trying to ledge jump with the down air. Not going to be able to do it. But hold up. Trying to go for the spike as well with the bows with the Gatsby Falcon. Certipedic setting up for yet another ledge trap. But seeing that he can miss to the flame wrap, he's able to get that side beyond, but that's gonna be another stop for Certipedic for the Bowser. Get this command grab, you know. Such a very strong move. You got those platforms to utilize, you got it to work around with. Definitely gotta go for it. And Gatsby trying to go for yet another empty up grab, isn't able to get it this time around, and these to dash attacks are kinda cost him the situation because you know, Falcon gets that one solid lead and it's kind of, kind of curtains, but Falcon put it in the work. Oh, this time around, he saw the, the empty up kind of just coming around this time and he's able to draw a spot dot to react. You know, given that space around, you definitely got it. It's hard to beat it. Fishing for this command grab. F tilt, set it into the corner. Gatsby looking like he had it, but sort of beating. Definitely clawing his way on back. You get that near it into the back here. And that's it. Well, didn't. Didn't really confirm there's in the back there, but you, you know what he wants. He wants an air back here. Bowser remains only want one thing, and it's kind of disgusting. But he can shake it off. He can shake it off. You know, he has that lightning. He has that thunder. He got that fire. This is Gatsby, who plays like no other. I see the boys pumping their tunes, switching on off, and... We're gonna be rocking it back to PlayStation 2. Three, two, Not opting one, to uh, get that close quarter stage this time around with the small battlefield. But okay, I st still, PS2 still sell it for both characters, you know. You got this, um, the combo extensions off the platform. Bowser got the side beat to work around. But okay, try to get a ledge jump and maybe spike just a little bit with the certain Pete Bowser. Might be working out and Gatsby trying to read him out for the back here. And okay, surviving a little bit at the ledge. He was able to get that down air on in. There's that empty off grab, put in that work once again. But Certipedic teching to the platform, avoiding that whole situation, not wanting to be the face of the Falcon name, the Falcon uh, combo name brand of being a heavy. But there you go, finally getting the call out on the up smash as well. The back air to call out this move as well. And hanging on low for the back air as well. Not teching it, he is going to be able to make it back with the side beat in work. And I was about to say, Gatsby, he, I saw that knee a little bit. You saw he wanted the Falcon kick. We haven't seen one of those in a while. And the moment he tries to uh, kind of throw it out, it's not to put in that work that he wants. Up be it out, punish, but okay, Falcon kicking through the fire and the flames. You are the fire itself. You are the master. He's going to be making this game a nice and even. There's the side beat, putting the work with a double nair. Triple, ooh, nice. Opting to go for the downer off that up air as well. 
so beautiful stuff from Gatsby. And trying to get the spike on him as well. And I mean, in that case, I believe he wanted to grab the ledge and get the spike, you know. But you can't always have your cake and eat it too. Gatsby going to be uh, taking this game one to a little oopsie whoopsie from Certipedic, but definitely can't come back here. See, he's smiling. He's laughing and all. And now, I'm going to assume there's going to be, like, no counter picks coming out. We're going to be rocking still back to PS2. But we kind of, the adaptions that Certipedic was making in that game, he really didn't see that game too because he was kind of getting rocked with a Falcon. The Falcon is such a scary and explosive kind of character to where like if they read your DI and they can just adjust their combos to the fly and just end your life in seconds, much like that up into the down air, you know? I guess he definitely had his combos more on lock in that game too. So he wasn't letting Certipedic get away with a whole lot, but hold up. So Dash is coming on back. He's not fooling for the empty hop kind of throws, but he is getting a throw this time around. There's the Nair's train all the way to the corner on the stadium. He's trying to chase with that side B as well. Certipedic, he's able to get that throw off to get the bear, set up and switch that situation. I love the upbeat usage on the neutral getup. You know, that hitbox, it lingers out for a pretty long time. And if you shield, you anticipate something, you drop it. You get the shield pokes, but Falcon stomps. Falcon stomps. Taking that first stop and trying to get the pivot on as well. You can see Gatsby playing a little bit more smart about his openings this time around. If you're not playing no games, there's the catch on the air dodge in. Trying to get a reversal off stage. The getup attack though, but didn't that work right now this time. And we're going back to the corner again, but Gatsby again with the challenge on the neutral air. It's just not letting Certipedic have his answers. And now you can see Sir Pete kind of yielding these air dives in this situation this time around. And Snipe, I'm going to snipe out these uppies as well off stage. You can see, there you go! The Gatsby Classic, the Crackhead Falcon Kick, as I like to call it. Pop and Sir Pete, second dog, and he's quickly working on this three star. The jump is a chase off the corner into the stop, but he's not able to get it off with the Bowser uppie mash on out. Okay, all right. Get a little too excited. And there you can see Gatsby's. Finally losing the stock this time around and Certipedic, you know, kind of struggling to look for control back in this game. But Gatsby definitely not going to give it to him. There's the up air and trying to go for the knee. You might have in the situation though. Trying to trap on the platform with the up smash as well. Bowser Flames coming in, putting in the damage. This is definitely still looking like Gatsby game. There's that Nair one to the knee. It's going to be closing it out in a 2-1 scenario. So how are we doing? What's up everyone? Nico here on the mic. Doing all right. So how's this match going? Uh, Is let's see. Uh, Sir Pete, you know, he was looking, he was looking pretty hot game one. Mm -hmm. But um, he was making really solid adaptions. But Gas, he had a little slip up in game two to where he accidentally SD. Gatsby was getting a lot more of his um, kind of Falcon combos off. He was reading his DI a lot more to where he kind of ended up into an up air into a down air. Okay. And then for this game three, you know. The adaptions we saw from Certipedic game one, they were showing up. He